let's go for a walk. I have two things that sometimes make it difficult to make videos, especially during VEDs. It's also important to note that I've never been officially diagnosed with either of these because we live in a capitalist hellscape that cares more about money and corporations than actually making sure its citizens are healthy. But I'm pretty sure I have both of these things. The first is dysgraphia. It's possible you've never heard of that. Heaven knows I hadn't when my 7th grade teacher told my mom there was a very strong possibility I had it. Dysgraphia is a learning disability, similar to its more well-known counterpart, dyslexia, but instead of affecting my ability to read, it affects my ability to write. For the most part, it just manifests itself in my atrocious handwriting, which doesn't affect me too much since I don't write things down by hand that often. But it does have another side effect that does affect video making. I find it difficult to take the words from my head and put it into writing. I often have ideas that I just find hard to put down on paper, so they may just not get done. The other one is a little more complicated. For as long as I can remember, I have had difficulty in social situations. I thought it was just because I didn't like crowds, but then I discovered what social anxiety was. I know I mentioned it earlier this month, but for those who may not know, social anxiety basically affects your brain's ability to interact with your fellow human beings. So it's less I'm nervous about giving a speech in front of people, and more I am absolutely convinced that this first interaction I had with this human was absolutely terrible and now they hate me. So I got nervous of finding enough footage to cover all of the things that I wanted to say. So I decided the best course of action would to be to film out in public. One of my um, most terrifying things that I can think of. Hopefully you can hear me okay, it is a little windy out. So I guess we'll see what happens. So the question you might ask yourself is, Jeffrey, how does social anxiety stop you from making videos or make it difficult for you to make videos. I'd say one of the reasons, and probably the most frivolous, is just the idea of making videos outside of my apartment is terrifying to me. Like, I know that I'm doing it now, but I did my best to find one of the more secluded areas of this particular park um, that I found online. So, um, that's how that works. Also, I'm still terrified that someone is going to walk up as I am filming. But ultimately, that is kind of not the most important thing. I know that you can make videos just in your apartment, and that's fine. Uh, I just know that I see a lot of people, a lot of Vedsies, make videos outside, and it's something that I wish that I could do uh, more and not be as afraid to do. But I'd say the two bigger reasons why social anxiety makes it difficult for me to make videos uh, is one that is more general, and the other that is very VED-specific. In the more general side, YouTube is, in and of itself, a social platform. I think some people that are in charge of YouTube tend to forget that, but in many ways, YouTube still is a social platform, and so, you know, with most things when it comes to social interaction, it is tricky for me to do. Whenever I post videos, I am always a little bit concerned that someone is going to judge me for the videos that I post, especially when I make something like a rant, which is not something I do very often, but I have a few out on my channel, and every single time I post one, I am always concerned about getting any sort of backlash against it. And as for more VED-specific things, VEDS is very much a social community, and I am very happy to be a part of it, but sometimes I find it difficult to be a part of a social community. This is genuinely why I never posted a response video before this year, like specifically responding to the Vedzies videos that particular week, and it's why I don't tend to leave comments. In terms of, you know, like making responses, my brain is always concerned that if I don't talk about one Vedzie as much as I talk about the other ones, then that one Vedzi is going to feel slighted in some way. And so sometimes I find it easier just to never make responses because I don't want to worry about not talking about somebody enough. And it's a similar idea when it comes to leaving comments, uh, because sometimes I don't have a comment to leave on every Vedzi's video, so it's like if I only leave comments on one video and then I don't leave comments on any other videos, then those other Vedzi's are gonna feel slighted that I didn't post a comment. Now logically I know this is ridiculous. Um, you know, I know I know y'all aren't expecting me to comment on every single video, and heaven knows I don't expect everybody to comment on my video, because sometimes you don't have anything to say, and that's fine but my brain doesn't allow me to accept that. And so instead, I just take the path of not commenting at all. 
And it can be frustrating because sometimes I do have comments that I want to leave, but I think I don't have comments for anybody else. So I'm not going to comment because then I'd be sliding somebody. So yeah, social anxiety sucks. Um, it does sometimes make this difficult, but... Well, anything wrap-up is has already been filmed, so... Let's go back home. First, I want to come over here. This little neat little alcove. I don't think alcove's the right word, but... Get another shot of the river here. And this weird altar-looking thing. Should I... Should I be concerned? Nah. Found this place. Just real quickly. Gonna talk again. Let's talk and walk. Why not? That's not terrifying. Uh, I found this place specifically on Google. I looked up walking trails near me, and this was the closest, and the one that was actually within walking distance. Uh, and I gotta say, this is a really nice park, so I'm glad that I looked it up, and I'm glad that I decided to do this video. Someone's coming on a bike. This is why I don't like doing this. Yep. I guess it's good that I'm done filming there. Alright, let's go home. Something I forgot to mention that I meant to, because that's what happens when I don't write down what I want to say, is that there's a fun kind of juxtaposition between my social anxiety and my dysgraphia, especially this time of the year. So my social anxiety will say, oh, you only have things to say about that one Vedzi? Well, you better not say anything, because then everyone else will feel slighted, and everyone will then hate you, and you'll probably deserve it. And then my dysgraphia will say, oh, you want to say something nice? <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. So, fun times all around. So yeah, sometimes VEDS is difficult. I find it difficult to talk about because one, I'm not good at talking about myself, and two, I also know VEDS is sometimes difficult for y'all as well, and my brain does that stupid thing where it convinces me that I shouldn't complain about it because other people have it worse. I'm not as bad at that as I have been in the past, but it still rears its ugly head on occasion. All that being said, I'm never disappointed that I did VEDS. Y'all are awesome. I know I say that a lot, and it's just vague and general praise, but it's just because y'all make this month worth it. It's worth fighting my own anxieties to get a video out there and being a part of this community, even if I'm not always the best at being a vocal part of it. Another VEDS is done. And I'm kind of glad because it means slowing down on videos, but like with Days of Summer from a Harry Potter sequel, it's bittersweet. I'm gonna miss seeing all your videos on a daily basis. But I know you're still here on the internet, and there's always Discord. With all that being said, I love you all, and until next Veds, I will see you when I see you again.